Please. First 30 minutes. Hey, everybody. It is Cliff from Bite Me Podcast. Um, I'm about ready to do a 30-minute playthrough of a game that I'm so excited to be able to be playing. It's called Thimbleweed Park. It is a adventure game that's exactly like adventure games you played in the 90s, if you've played any of those. Um, it's actually made by Ron Gilbert and Gary Winnick, um, who are the guys that created Maniac Mansion and the Monkey Island series. Um, this game I played originally at PAX West uh, last September, and I just instantly fell in love with it. I was probably one of the very first games I ever played on a PC was Day of the Tentacle, um, which was kind of the spiritual successor to uh, Maniac Mansion. And I just fell in love with that style of games, you know, putting weird things together to solve clues and, you know, coming to all these crazy conclusions about how you would do something in order to move on and searching, you know, screens to pick up strange objects and you know figuring out how to combine them so it's a game that's kind of near and dear to my heart i think if you like those style of game um the monkey islands the full throttles the day of the tentacles um those those games or have played even the redone versions of those or grim fandango that kind of stuff you're going to really really enjoy this game um we're going to play the first half hour of it i hope you like it um we'll probably put some more footage up as we go but they've kind of asked us not to dump it all at what time so Take a look, pick it up, it's 20 bucks, it's fantastic. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? Uh, I need some whiskey. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? 
Sober up, sir. <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know I'm here. Must be something around here that can help. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. I had better follow the instructions on the note before wandering into the underbrush. completed step three of the note. Now for step four. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. It's an empty whiskey bottle.
It's a hotel key card from the dead man. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates. We should go find the sheriff. There's no film in the camera. I think we better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Like I don't have enough to carry already. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. It's a good photo of the body. I like how the state-of-the-art camera can alter the angle of the shot. is an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. I don't, I don't see anything up ahead. I think the town must be in the other direction. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Signals are very strong tonight. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. 
They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. <laughs> that was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. <laughs> but it really pays off in the end. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Boop! Beep! Boop! Beep! Boop! Beep! Heek. It's a plumbing van driven by big pigeons. Click, click, click. Heek. No need. The perps are outside. Beep! Wait up, eager beaver. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> know any place that serves good pie? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Botulism. Know any place that serves good meatloaf? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Ooh, E. coli. Know any place that serves good hamburgers? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Plague. Know any place that serves good hot dogs? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Butylated hydroxytoluene. Know any place that serves good quiche? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Battery acid. Know any place that serves good coca vin? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Toenail clippings. Know any place that serves good tacos? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Mold. Know any place that serves good sausage rolls? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. No snot. Know any place that serves good banana bread? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Toe jam. Why don't you shut the place down? Why would I do that? I get a 5% law enforcement discount.
I'm Agent Reyes, and this is my partner, Agent Ray. Nice to meet you, Agent Arenos. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is certain to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Areno do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? <laughs> Howdy who, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who. Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain a who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Arino? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as Pisa who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure. Whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> Uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. 
Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. The primary function of the Quadron 3000 trademark patent pending is to analyze a blood sample and a bloody object to ensure arrest of a suspect. Procure a swab or other absorbent material and have some blood on it. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object and I, I mean the blood drawn 3000, trademark, will confirm a positive match. Locked off. I need to stay focused and Fight me. Fight me. Fight me.